for the elementary reaction A going to products, the differential rate equation shows how the rate of reaction, that is, the rate of change of the concentration of A, depends on the concentration of A. It's called a differential equation because the rate of change of the concentration of A is expressed as a differential. The minus sign is there because the concentration of a reactant decreases with time. The reaction is first order, so the rate of reaction is proportional to the concentration A. K is the rate constant for the reaction. The differential rate equation is a fundamental equation that describes the kinetics of a reaction and tells you the rate of reaction at a particular instant. But think how you carry out a rate experiment. It's not possible to measure the rate of a reaction directly. What you usually do is to measure the concentration of a reactant or product at different times during the reaction. So it would be really useful to have an expression that shows how the concentration varies with time. This relationship is given in the integrated rate equation, which is derived mathematically from the differential equation. The derivation is shown in box 9.1 for a first order reaction. Let's work through the key stages in the process starting from the differential equation here. To find a relationship between the concentration of A and the time, you first need to rearrange this expression so that the concentration of A is on one side of the equation and T is on the other. This procedure is called separating the variables. If you multiply each side of the equation by minus dt, and divide each side of the equation by the concentration of A, dt's cancel out on the left hand side, concentration of A cancels out on the right hand side, minus times minus equals a plus, so you're left with D, the concentration of A, over concentration of A, equals minus K dt, which is what we have in the equation here. Now you integrate both sides of the equation from the start of the reaction at T equals zero to a time T. This is called integrating between limits and is written like this. You can take k out of the integration on the right hand side because it's a constant. To work out the integration on the left hand side of the equation you need to use a standard integral. The integral of 1 over x dx is log x that's log to the base e. If you integrate between the limits x1 and x2, this comes to log of x2 minus log of x1. So applying this to the left-hand side of our equation gives the log of the concentration of A at time t minus the log of the concentration of A at time 0. To integrate the right-hand side of the equation, you need to know that the integral of 1 times dt is just t. If you integrate between the limits 0 and t, this comes to minus kt. This equation is usually rearranged to the form shown here, which is the integrated rate equation for a first-order reaction. 
If you know the concentration of A at the start of the reaction and have a value for the rate constant K, it allows you to work out the concentration of A at any time T. More importantly though, a plot of log of the concentration of A at time T against time is a straight line with a gradient of minus K. This is the case only if the reaction shows first order kinetics. So it's a useful way of showing that a reaction is first order and allows you to find a value for the rate constant. Box 9.2 shows you how to derive the integrated rate equation for a second order reaction. And box 9.6 does the same for a zero order reaction. In each case, the derivation follows the procedure shown here for a first order reaction.